Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, here once again to give you your answers to your questions or help you connect with loved ones on the other side. I really like doing that. Um, anyway, so we're going to get started in a second. And before we get started, a couple quick messages. Um, you can call in, you can join the show live and call in at 845-277-9131. Uh, you can watch on YouTube live. I go live every Monday and Wednesday. I use YouTube and Blog Talk to record for... Um, the television stations, which are WSCS and all, um, all of their streaming channels, and then Rude Rangers TV and all of their streaming channels. So that's what I have so far today. Now, a um, couple people online are on uh, YouTube. Hey, everybody on YouTube. Thanks for being here. One of the questions was songs, and it came from Heather. And Heather, I am going to massacre this song, but it's... um. Something to the effect of, Lord, come with me now, da, walk with me now, or something like that. I hope you know the song. Hey, Patrick, how are you? I hope you know that song, Heather, because I do not. I know the song and the beat, but I feel like I might be getting the words wrong, okay? And then Amy May. The song came in, it It goes, walk on. And I, again, the beat, the tune, all of it, I'm massacring, but it's just walk on. I think it might be by YouTube, not YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> YouTube, <laughs> YouTube, <laughs> like the band YouTube, walk on is the name. Um, is the song I'm getting for you, Amy May? Hey, and um, and then loved ones from the other side. Okay, so they are here. They are really, really here. So I'm going to say the name. It could be their name. It could be your name. It could be a name of someone you know. And then I will um, tell you if there's any messages from them. So the first name I'm hearing, really... Okay, thank you. I hear mom, mom, and mom. Somebody just keeps saying mom. Okay, so, um, and then I hear Louisa, Louisa. Now, these could be two separate people, two separate whatever, Louisa. So, Louisa could be somebody here or someone on the other side. You're going to know if Louisa is a message for you. The next thing that I'm hearing is Brad or Bradley. Now they could, yes, they could be two different people. There could be a Bradley and a Brad. And then the next name that I'm hearing is Cooper, like a mini Cooper, but not Cooper. Okay. And then the next name that I'm hearing from the other side is, if this is your person, you are freaking going to know immediately. And I could be saying this wrong, Johanovitz. And that, perhaps that's a last name or a first name, like Johan, Johanovitz. I don't know, just saying the names. Um, and then um, Salvatore, Salvatore, Salvatore. And then there's one more coming through. Um, Amelia, Amelia. Okay, those are the names that I have for today. If these are your loved ones or a loved one reaching out to you, they just want you to know they're with you all the time and they are uh, watching out for you. Um, hey, Kate. Hi, Fawn. Um, Margaret, Margaret, welcome to the show. Okay, I am going to let you guys know I have a very special guest joining me today. I love this girl, this woman. She's a woman. Um, her name is Marla Martinson, and she is the mystical matchmaker. She works with a she. She is part 
owner of a company that she's a, she's a matchmaker for wealthy men, and, but she's also a dating coach. And um, she is also very mystical. Mm -hmm. She is. And I'm sorry, I so, so botched, so botched her intro, but Marla's amazing and I adore her. And um, she is uh, going to be joining us in a in just a second. And I'm reading as I'm giving her intro. So Sal from Sal said, Salvatore is my grandfather. Well, he wants you to know he's always with you and he adores you and he loves you. And he wants you also to know you're doing the right thing. Don't worry about it. You're doing the right thing. Okay. Aloha Jay. How are you? Aloha Jay from Canada is here. Um, Okay, uh, Heather's also here, Fawn is here, Anne is here, um, there's a number of other, Terry T is here, Amy May, there's so many wonderful people joining us on YouTube. So when I call your area code, please make sure whatever you're listening to me on, you have turned it all the way down. And when we call your area code, um, please have a specific question and or relative from the other side you would like to talk to. Um, and I'm going to bring Marla on now and let her give herself a much better introduction than I did. Hey, Marla, what's hey up? Hey there. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes. Marla. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll give my uh, intro. Yes, please <laughs> I'm, do. Uh, yeah, I, AKA, yes. Yes, the mystical matchmaker. So I've been a matchmaker, professional matchmaker for two decades. I have my own business with my uh, partner, wonderful partner, Fredley. Uh, it's boutique. Um, we work out of our home offices. The men are the paying clients. And um, so it's kind of like a millionaire matchmaker, very kind of high end. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've had many marriages and uh, babies born and all of that extremely, um, satis you know, very satisfying to, to know that we're bringing um, people together. And then, yes, I'm a coach. I'm a transformational life coach. I specialize in boundaries, uh, reinventing your life, um, relationships and all of that. I also read tarot cards, do energy healing. Um, I'm a Gemini. Uh, and so I, there's not enough time in the day to do everything that you want to do. <laughs> yeah. And I'm an author. I've written six books. So my latest book is called The Magic Seeker. And it's a memoir. So I love to write as well. Stay creative. I love that. So yeah, so um, so Marla, uh, if somebody, well, I'm going to say this right away in the show because I tend to forget later on. If somebody wants to reach out and get a hold of you, what's the best way they can do that? Yeah, my website is MarlaMartinson.com and Martinson is M-A-R-T-E-N-S-O-N. And if you want to uh, connect with me on uh, Instagram, it's at The Mystical Matchmaker. And uh, I post pretty much every day, little tips, um, I put a reel up and you can connect with me there. I'd love to have you join our our group there. You know, people, I have a lot of people people the same followers and we, we just have so much fun uh you know talking about different topics a lot of it's based on boundaries relationships narcissism is a theme that i talk about a lot you know healing from that healing ourselves so that we can be whole healed people to get into a relationship yes yeah. yes so true so true okay um so everybody this is marla and again, one of seriously, one of my favorite people, she does so much good for so many, and she is a very gifted person. So if you are um, thinking in any way this might be a good fit for you, please do reach out, look at her stuff, see if it is. But Marla, we're going to take callers. We're going to answer questions. We are going to... Um, Yay! do whatever it is we do over the next little bit of time here. Um, <clears throat> again, so when I when I call your area code, please say your 
uh, your first name, only your first name and where you're calling from. And then from there, we will uh, have an exact question or real, or uh, loved one that you want to connect with. And here we go, 780, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, it's Jay Cole from Canada. Thanks for connecting with you again. And Marla, thanks for talking to you too. Absolutely. Hi there. So Jay, how can we help you today? Oh, before I uh, ask you a question, uh, thanks much. Um, is that is there a way to donate some money to you or something like that through the show or something like that on your uh, page, uh, on your website? Yeah, actually, I it... actually, I do. In my bio, there's a a link called um, solo tony, and in there, there's a donate button, and then all my favorite products in the world. <laughs> Everything that I love to use from what I make my smoothies with to uh, the shoes I love to, I mean, anything I love is in there. And it's so weird because people have said like, where do you get your clothes? Where do you do this? Where do you do that? And so if there's something I love, I kind of put it in there, except for the clothes thing, because I haven't figured out how to link the clothes thing yet. But yes, the in my bio on everything there's a link called solo dot i think it's solo dot tony and there's a there is a donate button there and also on my web page but thank you that's really kind of you thank you so much jay okay now to your question <laughs> my question is that uh it's with my mom i think it's my mom uh who's been trying to get me moving on some things especially with my apartment and things i don't know why is she doing that uh, it seems like she's going through the resident manager to get my attention. I don't know why, but or something like um, that. And if there's any other messages from my mother, be much appreciated. So thanks. Well, yeah. yeah for so, doing, so. Uh, Jay, can I please, can Marla and I please get your mom's first name? Yeah, Yumi. Y U M I. Yumi. Okay. So the first message I'm getting, Jay, is it's time for you to move forward. It's really time for you to take your next step. Um, and then I hear the word leaps and leaps and bounds, leaps and bounds. So it's time for you to get in a new energy, if you will. Now that can mean a new energy in your in the place you're already into, like, make some changes, but I think it's a whole new place. Marla, what are you getting? Mm -hmm. I got I'm I pulled some cards too and to tap in as well. And it feels like there's something that you're not don't want to look at or don't want to see and you feel a little bit there's some feelings of a little bit you went through a lot and you were kind of the hermit card comes up you're kind of uh cocooning yourself but um just like you said tony moving forward get out there um the uh purposeful card comes in too and um and you know what there's some towards the end of the year and come into the next year it feels like your mom's going to be helping you with some new project or something um i'm hearing the word art artwork um, there's something, I, really something to do with I, almost nature, um, getting out there more, connecting with nature, grounding yourself, and um, getting 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 on with, with some of these projects that you want to do, because there's no time to waste and you're talented. You have this deep, I feel like you have this deep, um, very deep uh, spiritual side and deep philosophical side, and you have a lot of wisdom. And so, Enjoy that. Appreciate yourself. You you really got a lot to share. Excellent. And Jay, right. one That's more through. one more quick right. thing. I think that the next place that you end up in, whether it be the place you live, the place you work, the place you spend some time, um, there's going to be somebody there for you. And I feel like this is partner wise. Mm -hmm. Now I. I don't like to say, oh, it's it's a love partner, but there's definitely a partner coming in that's going to be significant to you. This could be even a business partner. This could be somebody that's coming in to help you move forward with a certain side of your, 
I, this is going to sound great. I'm sorry for the way I'm about to say this. A certain side of yourself you haven't really exposed to, to the public yet. Um, so get out there and expose yourself, Jay. Um, no, seriously. So, But seriously, um, there's someone coming in, and it could be a love interest. But if it is a love interest, they also help you expand your horizons and bring you to that next level of either your projects or your personal side. And I do feel like um, this is going to come in once you take those next steps. Now, whatever is going on with where you live, it's okay. That can be smoothed out, but I do feel like it's time for you to start if you're comfortable and you want now again, I'm gonna say this. If you love, <clears throat> if you love where you are, it's time to refresh your space. If you've been thinking about relocating, and I hear a yes on that, and maybe the thought hasn't hit you yet, and it's about to come in because these are predictive readings. Um when that comes, if that comes, or if you've had it, it's time to really fall into the perfect space for you. Okay, Jay, Marla, any final thongs? Okay. Th thoughts, uh -huh. not thongs, thoughts on your part. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thoughts? Um, yeah, it's just still going for, and you were saying to expose himself, um, evolve, the bu butterfly comes in, um, also um, earth again, uh, and love. So, yeah, there's, there's just the open your heart. I'm seeing some green. Um, open up the heart chakra, do a little work there, and then moving up to the throat chakra, uh, expressing yourself and healing that a little bit. And I feel that they're saying that you also have mediumistic um, abilities. If you if you wanted to, you could develop that. He does, he does everybody. All he right. does. So she's there. She's there with it. She's picking it up. That's Marla, everybody. Marla Martinson, who is very, very mystical and magical in everything she does. Jay, I hope this was helpful for you. Yes, it is. Excellent. Grateful for the message okay. and grateful for talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. are welcome. Thank you, Jay, so Bye. much for calling Bye. in today. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, everybody, it's Marla Martinson, the mystical matchmaker, and myself answering questions today. Now that you see, call in 845-277-9144. Three one. Oh, I'm going to go to the very next caller. Six three zero. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Thank you for taking my call. Yeah. My name is Dion, and hi, I'm in Wisconsin. Hey, Dion. So you're on with Marla and I. It's nice to have somebody. I'm in Wisconsin too. So yes, Dion. Uh, what's your question or your connection today? What would you like to know? Okay. Well, uh, first thing I want to tell you is that um, two years ago you told me that I was going to be moving in May, and you're like, and it's going to happen really fast when it happens. Well, I'm I'm hoping I can still move this May, but the move is this May. So you actually saw that two years ago. So like you see a far out. Just mm -hmm. wanted to let you know. Nice. That, nice. That was okay. Um, just so you know. And then my mom used to call my dad Brad. Oh, okay. and yeah. my first boy. Go ahead. Yeah, because that wasn't even my dad's name, but that's what she called him. That's funny. That is, I love that. And then your first boyfriend, you were going to say? His name was Cooper. And the thing is, is, I've been hearing the name Cooper, seeing the name Cooper, and like, I literally haven't seen him since like high school. But I will tell you, anytime I run into anybody from high school, they're always like, do you ever hear from him? Like, they never ask about anybody else, but they always ask about him. But, like, I don't I don't know why he always comes up. Like, and lately, his name's been coming up a lot. I don't know why. 
That is so funny. That is hilarious. Well, thank you for confirming. So two of the names in the beginning resonate with you. And that is amazing. I love it. I love it so much. Thank you for sharing that with us. Okay, Dion, what's your question for Marla and I? Well, my parents are obviously here. I mean, what is it that they would like to tell me, if you can tell me? Okay. Can I please get your mom's first name? My mom's name is Carol. Carol. Okay. Um, so the first thing, uh, okay, so I don't know, I know that people... The first thing I'm seeing is, and I know you said her name is Carol, and this has never happened before with a Carol, but the first thing I'm seeing is the Carol Burnett, Burnett, Burnett show, which is hilarious to me because I used to like crack up at that show, but let us they won't take the vision of that out of my head now. So then the next thing that she would want to say is um, start... <clears throat> Okay, in order for, and okay, so this is the way she's saying, in order for anything to move, you have to take a step. So if you're, move, if you're moving, you have to push that and uh, um, push, push it like now, the, the time to, oh my gosh, it's so crazy because I was just saying this to somebody, a friend of mine on the phone the other day. Like when somebody is pregnant and they say, you're going to want to push, but don't push yet. And then all of a sudden they're making you hold the push. And then all of a sudden they're like, okay, now push. Well, they're saying to you, okay, now push. You've been holding. It, it's now, now is go time. It's push time. Get it, get it out, get it out, whatever it is, just push and get it out and then the, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stop right there and let Marla talk because I I'm laughing I'm just cracking up at myself and I apologize go ahead Marla uh, was Carol did she smoke at one time yes yeah yeah she's so that's just a confirmation that she's a uh, she's here smoke showing that but but spirit comes in I'm told some amazing oracle cards that just beautiful spirit celestial and divinity come in all under the full moon so she wants you to know that she was a very earthy kind of woman when she was here she's having a cigarette she's having a cup of coffee she's like very like chatty like people very easy to talk to but now she's in this real higher realm she's really um doing a lot of uh, work uh up in that area and she's very uh very mystical and celestial and uh just kind of spark almost showering little sparkles on you and everything so she uh loves what you're doing she says um don't take things so personal i don't know if that makes any sense um just let things you know go if anybody's uh you know difficult personality sometimes you know can come around us so we don't have to take it on and she says you're doing great and she's sending you lots of sparkles Awesome. That's what I yeah, I <laughs> thank you for that. I am I am doing I feel and see I feel like I'm doing everything I can as far as pushing mm -hmm. my move forward. But like the paperwork's in other people's hands too. Right. You know? And so I guess I can just go and start pushing that again, pushing that narrative again. Well, and when they say push, sometimes it's a matter of us making sure our boxes are packed. And everything's ready so that when that go comes through or that approval comes through, all we have to do is um, load up and move on. What I am going to say to you, there are other areas of your life you're about to push through on. There is a project or a, uh, a career move you're about to make. Now, a career move doesn't always have to be about a job. It can be about something else. But there's something coming through. Like I get there are three things coming in and these three things are going to be simul simultaneous for, um, and they're going to like one right after the other. And you might feel a little bit overwhelmed, but when they do come in, they're going to happen very, very quickly, all at, like almost all at once, but 
one right after the other. And then you're going to move into this space where you feel relieved. It's, it's almost like, okay, Dion, what I'm seeing, the vision that they're showing me for you is like, when a child waits all year for their birthday, and then like months before their birthday, they're really like hoping they get these certain birthday gifts. And then the day comes and they're like, they have to wait till the end of the party to open their gifts. And then the three big things they wanted are right there. And they get to open them like one at a time. And it's almost overwhelming, but with happiness. And that's the analogy that they're showing for me. So the three things coming in one right after the other are all things that you want and you've been working on, like almost manifesting, but you, you keep saying, I want, I want, instead of I have, I have, or it is, it is. And then it's finally coming to fruition, all, but all of it is coming together, but not like like one one right after the other in the same time period. So get ready for that. And it's almost like moving out of where you are. And I say this all the time, and I know Marla will 1 million percent agree with me. The energy that is you sit in, whether it's your home, your neighborhood, your city, your state, even your country can change what you can bring into your life and how you bring it in because every single thing carries energy. But when you get out of where you are now, you're going to move into a more manifesty energy, a more an energy where things just flow better. Make sure you jump into that energy really quickly, okay, love? Okay, I, I, hope that I hear you and I agree with you. I hope it makes. And I it, thank you. I oh, thank you both. Our pleasure. You're <laughs> welcome. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thanks, uh, Dion. Thank you so much for calling in. It was amazing having you on today. Thank you so much, and thank you for the confirmation too. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, and folks, and that is the way. Sometimes with my predictions and stuff. Um, it does happen a little further out. It doesn't always happen the next day. And that's okay. It happens when it's supposed to. I want to say hi to some of the people that are on YouTube. So um, Anastasia joined us. Welcome to the show, Anastasia. Genevieve, hi, how are you? Marla, you've got to meet Genevieve. Genevieve is awesome. Oh yeah. my gosh, hi, yeah. Um, and then there's Princeton Bellarina. Ballerina. I just feel like somebody with that name I need to meet. Princeton. Princeton Ballerina. I feel like we need to meet that person, Marla, in person. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, I just I like feel that like... name. Yeah, I know, right? And then Anne magical. is magical. <laughs> so magical. Um, okay, we're gonna go to the next caller. And um, there was something else I wanted to oh, if you do have a question and you want to put it into YouTube, go right ahead and put it into YouTube. We'll be <laughs> oh Princeton Ballerina says we know each other, Tony. <laughs> well, then I have met you, my beautiful oh. friend. What well, I but I don't know, I don't think I know you by that name. Caroline, oh Caroline, oh my gosh. Car okay, Marla, Caroline is one of the like sweetest women, um, one of the sweetest, smartest, like in ingenuitive Aww. women too. Yeah, I so yeah. thanks for clarifying, Caroline. Yes. Okay, we're gonna go to the next caller. If you do have a question, post and you're on YouTube, please post it in. Um, uh, the next caller is nine zero eight nine zero eight. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? We can. Hello? Yes. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, ladies, for taking my call. My name is Bethna, and I'm from New Jersey. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Can you say your first name again? Vesna. V-E-S-N-A. Okay. Excellent. Vesna. Beautiful Vesna. name. Yes. How can Thank we, you. <laughs> how can we help you today, love? 
So I'm calling about my health issues right now. Um, nothing serious, but I feel like I'm recovering a little bit from health issues, and I want to make sure that I'm making the right decision. Ooh, okay, so neither one of us are doctors or medical professionals, but we will give you whatever we get based on what spirit is saying. Now, I'm going to say this. Thank you. Whatever we get, you have free will. You can choose to use it, not use it, practice it, not practice it. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a clearing and a, or healing for you, anybody listening, re-listening. Uh, we are healthy. I get a no. We are healing. I also get a no. All that caused this. Now, this is the big one, folks. It's good to clear something, but we need to get to why did this happen in the first place? All that caused this, all that has kept this, all the reasons that this showed up in my life have healed, cleared, and released, and I get a no. And I feel like the number one thing I'm hearing, sweet girl, is... Um, stress that uh, of course every illness has an element of stress but also that this goes back to when you were two years old I don't know that, like I'm not trying to say that that just blew out of my mouth because I was my mind was on a completely different track so either something that happened at two or something that came in when you were two uh, that's where this is rooted and like a big sunflower or a dandelion I'm seeing them like it's in your right, not it. You might not feel this in your right leg, but what I'm going to do is I see it rooted through the way just I'm visioning this. It doesn't mean it's literal. They're pulling the roots out from beneath your right leg. Like if this was a big flower, it would be down your right side and they're pulling it all out and taking it. And then the other thing that I'm getting is you are on the right track. There's one thing you're doing that needs to be tweaked just a little bit. Just a little bit it needs to be tweaked. And I'm not sure of everything you're doing to uh, fix this. But if you want to share, well, first let Marla talk. And then we'll ask if you, you're comfortable sharing. And I can tell you which thing might need to be tweaked. Marla, go time. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, it was there it, when this this uh, started, or the money comes up. So, have you been stressed with money? Was there a money issue at some point? Yeah, in fact, in fact, you guys have you ladies have had everything on the nail. This happened to me uh, when I was around. Well, when I was born, this happened to me, um, and then I have been like you know dealing with it ever since. But when I was two. I was in a full body cast in the hospital for about 18 months. Mm -hmm. And when mm -hmm. she said my right foot, that's what's happening right now. It twisted. I, I tore a tendon mm -hmm. in my ankle and I've been okay. trying to fix it so I don't have to have surgery again because I don't want another surgery. Okay. Um, yeah. So Marla. everything you're saying right now is on point. In fact, I'm shaking. Oh it's my gosh. Point so much. So Marla, give me one quick second. I'm going to let you get back to it. Anybody watching knows um, my face is just as shocked at all of her confirming this as probably you guys are because when I get things I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I hope I'm not sounding like I'm back crap crazy right now." So thank you for confirming that. And while Marla's reading for you, I'm going to do some more what one of the things I'm hearing is PRP for your ankle. Um, they do PRP, protein-rich oh plasma God. injections. And that goes, the, our protein goes straight, to, that, that plasma goes straight to the yeah. injury. And then if you can find somebody who will do stem cells that are not in, too invasive or painful, that's the other thing I'm hearing. Okay, Marla, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Marla. Go ahead. I'm going to do more clearings and no. healings while Marla is no, no, going. No. Go, Marla. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, so... So, okay, so the, the money thing, it just feels like um, you there's some, uh, I don't know, some beliefs that they want you to let go of and, and know that um, grounding yourself is very important, calming down the nervous system, doing some kind of meditation or whether it's hit, sitting in some heat, whether that's hot yoga or hot, uh, a sauna or something to, to just to sweat, 
to release some of these energies around it. I think uh, that that uh, what happened to you at two, being in that body cast, that you've carried, that's traumatic. It's, it's, you don't know what's happening for that uh, young child. And so it's kind of stayed with you in the body. Um, and so releasing that body-wise or doing some kind of um, a body work that you could do and knowing it's safe to release. I'm safe. Everything's, uh, it's safe to be in my body. It's safe to be on the earth. It's safe to... Uh, to live and to thrive. And it feels like you are going to be manifesting more. Once you can do that and uh, release some of this stuff, and, t- and Tony's working on that, it feels like uh, money's going to flow a little bit easier. Uh, I don't know, somebody's sending you a quiche. I don't know if that's somebody from the other side or something, but somebody's handing you a quiche. And um, they're saying hugs and kisses. <laughs> so that's what that's my message. Okay. Thank you. I want to Thank say that the clearings yeah. that I'm doing for you and everybody listening, just so everybody knows, is um, I started with, and I hope I can remember them, I started with, it's okay to be healthy. And I get a no. And we get into mm-hmm. this pattern where, again, it's the, it's 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 not, it, it, it's not natural and we're just waiting for the other you know, shoot a drop, if you will. So we're clearing all of that. We're also keep clearing it's okay to be okay. Um, and then um, I'm always injured. I get a yes on, or I'm always like I'm this frail little thing or injured. For you and everybody listening, we're going to clear all of that out. And then we're going to, the, the root of this, again, going down that right leg, and um, pulling all of that out, but but it's from the whole body because if I if I were to explain what I saw, um, don't take it as dark uh, uh, bad things. But energy is, is a multitude of colors, and when we have energy that's no longer like um, healthy for us, it gets to that like storm cloud color look. So there, there's storm cloud color energy on your left mixed with the pure white energy. But then on the right is all the roots. So as they pull the root of this, they're also pulling all that storm cloud energy. And if you feel it, that's great. But if you don't, it's it's okay too. So all the beliefs and programs about being injured and ill for you, anybody listening, watching, re-listening, re-watching, I have been healed and cleared. And I'm just going to like, just by the way, I can't even talk. I'm going to go with that's a solid no. And we're going to heal, clear, and release that. And it's safe to be safe and okay. And again, we're going to heal, clear, and release all of that to a yes. All that causes kept us started it. All that has brought this in. Um, we're clearing, healing, and releasing that. And then we're going to do something different today. All the beliefs and programs that have kept this in place have been deleted from our computer. And we're just going to all just hold out our palm of our hand and push the imaginary delete button on there. And then, and then like, watch how that feels in your head as you push that imaginary delete button. Everybody do it with me, even if you don't believe in it, and watch the feeling you get in your head. Like, it's almost like a tingling in my head. So there we go. Sweetie, I hope this was helpful. Um, is What else would you like to say about this? With the pl- Oh, yeah, and the plasma treatments are going to be or the yeah the prp treatments are going to be so so important and they are going to help and they are going to work and then the other thing is to make sure you're getting minerals that's the word mineral all the minerals take sea moss and burdock root take all the minerals uh fulvic mineral as much minerals as you can get into your body you need into your body okay Yes, and I absolutely agree with what you're saying about yes. uh, of, uh, my 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 beliefs, my subconscious beliefs. I think that is what's mm-hmm. happening, and I think that I have to let let it go. Well, the clearing, so long, like, the clearing work does that. It yep. pulls it right out, and Marla can attest to that. Marla does this work too. It just pulls it right out without mm-hmm. you having to 
worry about it. Now, if you do need something a little bit more, I also do hypnosis. We can go in without going back and looking at everything. We can go in and clear this if you feel like you need a little bit more to clear it. But this is very powerful. Come back and listen to it again and let all of this clear while you're not on the phone, but you're just participating in the clearing, if that makes sense to you, love. Yes, Perfect. that makes total sense. And thank you so much. And I know I have some angels that are watching over me, and I'm wondering if, mm -hmm. if you hear anything from them or... Um, they're just saying, keep going. Uh, you're on the right track. Go ahead, Marla. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, uh, you definitely, we all have a guardian angel. We all have spirit guide. And so I am just going to pull, um, oh, rejoice. Your spirit guide says there's th uh, three things that they want to say. You rejoice. So rejoice that we have the spirit guide. Rejoice that you lived when you were a kid and that you have grown into this amazing woman. And they're saying that they're want they want to help you bring out your gifts more. It feels like, I don't know if you used to write poetry or do a little bit of writing, but they want you to do that and uh, have express your creativity. They're showing me some colors, like almost like a box of crayons. I'm seeing some beautiful purples, lavender. And, and a little bit of like rosy red so maybe you want to bring those colors in and uh the, definitely the red is the root chakra so ground yourself to the earth as it is like we said it's safe to be in the body and they're saying nurture yourself and then they want you to once you kind of release this and feel more grounded and safe you're going to have some adventures in your life because life is about adventures maybe you're going to take a road trip or you're going to do something that you haven't done before and so you might want to get out your little journal and put down some kind of bucket list uh, things, things that you haven't done or seen that it's um, important. Maybe that's taking that Spanish class or learning how to, you know, uh, do some pottery or going on, uh, going to see Sedona or the Grand Canyon, whatever it is, write it down and bring it into reality because I do see in the next two, three years you having some adventures and that's your spirit guides are right there with you, um, applauding you and, and helping. Thank you so much. And I can tell you, Within the last minute or so, I just feel so much calmer. I feel so mm, much calmer. Good. I don't know what's going on, but I feel well, so yeah. much calmer. I can't believe it. So thank That's you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. You are oh, so welcome. Love. Thank you for calling in. I remember. Oh, thank you. You're so, oh my goodness. You're so welcome. And don't forget to re-listen to the show because you will get even more release every time you listen. And we are, I'm, I, well, I'm here every Monday and Wednesday. I know Marla will be coming back. Genevieve will be joining us at some point doing healings with us too. Not today, but at some point in the, mm -hmm. the future also. So thank you for calling in love. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you are you. welcome. Okay, I am going to, we are going to go, we are going to go to a couple of online or YouTube questions. Talia, Talia, thank you for joining. Um, th welcome to the show. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Please forgive me. Um, I've had a couple questions. The first one, I'm going to let Marla take. Joy wants to know um, about romance. Am I ready for new love? So I wanted to know about creating that and starting a family. Okay, so Joy, you're always ready for new love. Remember, whoever shows up is there to show us what we like about ourselves, what we don't like about ourselves, what we're ready for, what we don't, what, what we need to heal, what we don't. And I feel like June is going to be a really big month for everybody for romance, but also for you, Joy. Somebody has the potential to come in in June and... Uh, Rock your world, and let's hope that's in a good way. Marla, what are you getting? Yeah, I'm feeling like there was uh, uh, joy. I don't, you know, I'm feeling like you had a betrayal in the past. It's it's almost a little bit hard to trust, and that you've had some blocks up. Um, somebody from your past, maybe the energy's still around and trying to get in. <clears throat> so, do it to, yeah, my throat is all. It's like you didn't speak your truth. Type or somebody that didn't let you speak or you never felt you could speak. Now's the time to really the body work is so important. Over a year, and being this, these emotions we get trapped from previous relationships in the body, and we've got to release it. So whatever you can do to do, move the body, you know, stretch the body. 
detox the body and do breath work would help too. And, and then you're going to be ready. So you want to make sure that you're in a place that you don't compare any new guy to an old guy, um, have list down. What are your values? What are the top, uh, what are the top five things that you need to find you are looking for in a person? And then look, do you have those qualities yourself? And then you can um, energetically call in this person by having that list. Um, you can even put it in your wallet and knowing and visualize it. So um, that. that's what I'm getting. Okay, Marla, I'm also going to do a clearing, like anything stopping or blocking us from a healthy, loving relationship. Let's clear that now. And then um, we've let go of all past mm -hmm. ick with relationships. And let's clear that now. And then Talia, Talia. Mm -hmm. Yep, I think it's Talia. I'm just going to say that. Um, I... Um, and she's saying she feels a huge negative energy around me. I want to know where this is coming from. We don't need to. We don't need. We don't want to actually, uh, and we don't need to. Yeah, the, yeah. the The more important thing, don't give it any power or like any. Oh my God, it's so big and it's so bad because that just defeats us or you in this case. And she's experiencing sleep paralysis. So for you, Talia, everybody listening, everybody re-listening, watching, we're going to say, I'm clear. I get a no. I'm clear. Let's clear that. And I'm going to do houses today. Mm -hmm. My house is clear. I get a no. My house is unclear. Let's clear all of this to where it's supposed to be. Now, the way this works is your angels come in your angels are pulling all of this energy out. Talia, please leave me a comment mm -hmm. if you're feeling something and if or when you feel lighter. Some people feel it, some people don't. Everybody experiences it in their very own oh, way. I feel it getting lighter already. There was a lot of pressure there. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, please comment, Talia, so I remember to check on it before we end the show today. I'm going to go to 520-520. You are on with Marla and myself. How can we help you today? Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. Oh, What's... This is from Arizona. I'm so... I was just, just going to ask you about my uh, relationship with, um, can I give you the initial, please? Sure, yeah. The letter D is David. Okay, so you're in a relationship with David, and you want to know what do you want to know about it, love? Um, can you pick up the energy on it, please? Well, <sighs> how long have you been with with him? Uh, since October. Does he have a son? No, 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 no. There's some energy, male energy around him. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm not getting a lot of energy around him. I'm just getting work. Uh, male energy around him. Maybe it's a boss or something, a little preoccupation. That's all I'm getting. I, what about you, Tony? Now, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to ask you first. Have you you called in and asked about this prior, right, love? Have you called in and asked yeah, about this relationship? We yeah. go two days in CNI. Okay. So what I, the first word I hear, and if I'm wrong, I'm, I apologize if I'm, this could be past energy, but I feel like it's still present energy. The first word I hear is friends. I think he really values this friendship. I feel like he really, he does not want to jeopardize the friendship. But I do feel like, and Marla, if, if you, uh, I don't know why I keep feeling like you two have different goals for this situation. And it's weird that they're using the word situation with me. But I feel like the two of you may have some different goals for this or some different timelines for it, okay? Um, I feel like uh, what I'm going to say is keep, oh, what I'm going to say, I don't want to let out of my mouth. <laughs> I don't want to let it out of my mouth. You know, I have people who will tell me like, 
when they want the truth, they call me because they know no matter how much it hurts that the answers I give are so accurate. But I don't, you're not ready to hear what they have been trying to tell you is the message that oh, I am. And I don't, I don't care how hurtful it is. I'm fine with it. Uh, okay, this is the way I'm going to say it. No matter where your relationship is, no matter what's going on with it in this moment, he's not the one for you. He's not the one for you. He's he. I, I'm sorry. They they have jumped in. There's a new captain on board. Take it over my little mouth here. He's not the one for you. He's not going to ever be the one who gives you what you want, the way you want it, when you want it. If that's what you're looking for, this is not the person. The person that you are wanting here's the person in front of you and in front of you he looks like um what, what, he's there so he's convenient and he's good and you have these these emotions for him but now what you want doesn't sit inside of this person if you want to get what you want out of a relationship you have to kind of completely back away from this person, separate your energy from this person and go to somebody else who is waiting. There is somebody else, right? Like let's put this guy D in a little circle, in a little circle. And right outside that circle, there's another guy and he's going to be able to give you what you want in a relationship the way you want it. He's going to be able to, he matches your relationship energy. Now, I'm going to tell you something that that takes a moment to to get, okay? Sometimes and and I I'm going to try to explain this oi. <sighs> Sometimes someone will come into our lives and we're so focused on making it work or hoping having that hope or I don't want to use the word winning because we're not desperate we just meet somebody and we really there's something about them that we just really you know and then but we're only thinking about what we're projecting on them, our feelings, and we're not even realizing or stepping back and looking at what are they showing or giving? Are these just, is this just all my feelings that I'm feeling when I'm with this person? I, and what I, I'm going to skip all of that. I'm just going to skip all of that. And I'm going to jump to again, there's somebody there's somebody that you could be on the cusp of meeting. And I, I don't like, sometimes people don't want to hear this when they're in something that they're trying to make work. But there's somebody you're on the cusp of meeting that could be the person if you are ready to like get this out of your energy, this could be the person that that would give you the relationship the way you want it. Okay, that's that's what I'm going to say and I'm going to let that be there. I am really going to let that be there for you. Um okay, Marla, any final words on that? Well, as also, you know, I've been a matchmaker for over 20 years and I'm a coach and, 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 you know, like if you go into your, just breathe and go into your center, your solar plexus, your heart center, and, and you know what the energy is. If you're asking, if you're calling a psychic to ask about the energy in your relationship, you know that something's not right. So, so you, you actually know, you're just looking for confirmation, which is totally, um, totally uh understandable and so what tony was sharing i'm totally on board with and uh hey it's, if he's not for you he's not it feels like he's not giving going to give you or capable of giving you what you would really like in a long-term relationship and so it's up to you to decide 
to continue or not. It doesn't feel like it's going somewhere that you want it to go. And so do, what uh, you are worthy. You're worthy of having everything you want in a relationship. And self-love is going to help that raising your frequency and deciding, you know, to, as you take that, that little broom and sweep out any dust that's no longer serving you and uh, start fresh at spring coming into summer. That's what I got. Okay, sweetie. I know that this is not, in some ways it's an amazing message because you get to know there's somebody right there waiting for, for this relationship. That's going to match your energy, match your love. And I'm going to say uh, Marla actually sent me an interview this weekend that she listened to between two people. And one of them was a pastor and I don't remember his name, but one of the things he said was, you know, that first person, and I'm going to, I'm going to ruin this statement. The first person that we feel felt rejected by, we will find that in somebody else and try to win that, that approval. And that statement is coming in so large for you in this moment. You're, the way, and, and then I'm I, I'm gonna let you um, sit with this. But what I'm gonna clear for you is, why are you waiting for this guy? You're waiting for this guy, and I'm gonna clear that because no one should ever sit at if you think you're in a relationship with this guy, and you're waiting on him. That should never happen to any person who believes they're in a relationship with someone we shouldn't be waiting on them or waiting for them or mm -hmm. it should be a mutual coming together and wanting of each other okay and mm -hmm. if you're not there the question isn't does he want me the or where is this going the question is why am i sitting in this waiting for somebody to pick me or to want me or to take this further. Why? And this is the most important thing I'm going to say to everybody listening. Why am I giving up all my power to him to make up this choice? Mm -hmm. Okay, sweetie, that's what I have for you. I hope this was helpful. Mm -hmm. No, I appreciate what you said. Oh. I, th I thought she, All right. I'm so sorry, sweetie. I thought you had hung up. So I like, I thought she really had hung up on us at that point. So I like started the muting process. I think she's taking it all in. Yeah, I think so. But, it. but the clock is running yeah. down also. Talia, I need to know how do you feel? Patrick, thank you for telling everybody to do that. Um, Jay Francis, hey. Um, okay, as as we go, I'm going to check. Everybody is clear, unclear. The houses are clear, unclear. All that's with Talia has been cleared and released. I don't feel much really. Okay, she's not feeling it yet. Don't worry. Um, this has been... Okay, clear it. You will. I'm hearing you will. I know other people, well, one other person commented that they felt it. I'm going to tell you whatever this is. Okay, yeah, then then take it. Okay, um, the show is coming to a close. Please, I'm here every Monday and Wednesday at noon. Come back Wednesday. We will continue to work on it if it's not gone by then. Okay, sweetie? Um I'm going to let you know how you can get a hold of me, and then Marla will let you know how you can get a hold of her. My business number is 414-897-2869. If you want a reading, hypnosis, or a uh, clearing, you can reach me there, or my website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. Marla, go ahead. Yep, MarlaMartinson.com, and I just put it in the chat, and um, or at... The Mystical Matchmaker on Instagram. And it's been a pleasure, you guys. And thanks, Tony, for all the amazing clearings and wonderful um, messages today. Thanks for having me on. 90 the show. seconds. Absolutely. My pleasure. Yeah, just in case I ever forget the the phone, my, my, my countdown will let me know. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love each and every one of you so stinking much. If I did not get to your call today, I really do apologize. I will be back on Wednesday at noon central time. 
And um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining us. And remember, make, make some miracles in your life today, okay? It, and tomorrow and every day, just get out there and create miracles for yourself, okay? Um, until next time, thanks, and have an amazing rest of the day.